Hey, hey, it's Nereon. I am live. I am here. We are ready for me to lose my mind and go insane and uh, have a heart attack here playing Canarium in today's lovely horror stream. Adjust the volume there. Give me two seconds here. I'll just make sure everything's working good. I have no idea what this game is about. I just know it's Lovecraftian based. Um, but yeah. Some... All life is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. And a quote from Lovecraft himself. What a wonderful man. Well, maybe not so wonderful, but like a good writer. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm already in. Okay. Here we go. Um everything maxed out? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we want. Okay, we're good. We're groovy. We're groovy. Oh, I can sprint. Am I underwater? Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. Hello, sir. Is that you, Mr. Lovecraft? No what? more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. Dr. Faust, is that you? Oh. He looked friendly. He looked like he wanted to give me a hug. <laughs> about to explode. Okay, so I've got some weird... Well, this is a... This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. Hmm. This is very weird. Okay. This is very dark. Not see what I'm doing. Oh, wait. I found Dr. Witt's medical records. Oh, that's, that's, that's a lot of, um, notes. Observation notes of the fourth initiation, initiation session, 7.05 PM. All the participants consumed the diverse, 
diverse diverse mixture five minutes ago and they've entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. All of them are now vaguely numbling in their sleep, like they are chanting something, but the sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements in their limbs, and as always, I wonder if it's because of something they are actually seeing beyond. As always, the device is humming and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different to the previous sessions. Whatever the reason for this might be, it feels almost like that fantastic device is singing something in, the, in a code I don't recognize. Uh, it is becoming more and more stressful to be alone here in the midst of this cold, dim, and incense-filled room. 7.19 p.m. It sounds to me like the energy of the subject's mumblings is much stronger now. Colors and shades are dancing on the walls with the rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can hear the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching or something even worse. 7.24 Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted beyond... Uh, they've drifted beyond my expertise area of expertise and guidance. I cannot do anything except for wish they're safe return. Okay. Well, that's great. Is there anything else in here I can interact with? This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. Oh, sweet. Hey, flashlight. That? Okay, so like a big flower. Hello? Anybody here? Where is everybody? Where is everybody? I need to turn him up. I cannot hear him that well. I can't hear him that well. Yeah, turn up the dialogue a little bit. I adjusted it, but I didn't hit save, did I? There we go. Yep, that's not creepy at all. Just like an outside. A strong snowstorm is expected to hit for the next two weeks. It is in utmost importance to take all the cautionary measures and inform the responsible personnel when going outside. Please be aware that radio connection between the base and the ship may not be available during this period. I'm assuming we're on the base. Attention for the crew members who are having sleeping problems. Examinations conducted regarding the increase of the accidents recently happening led me believe that the reason behind these those is some kind of intense cabin fever. Symptoms problems are insomnia, strong headaches, seeing visions and hearing voices. Crew members who suffer from this of symptoms are needed to refer to me personally for a personally for a through checkup. What do you mean thorough? Uh, this will also be the main topic of the main general meeting that will be held tomorrow after lunch. The issue poses serious problems regarding the safety of life and sustenance of work. So, where are we on a ship then? Stop those bloody sessions! <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I guess I'm... Oh, I'm outside. I'm gonna go back inside for now, I think.
Because I think there was like some other parts that I hadn't looked around. Oh yeah, great. I'll just hide in here. Yep. All safe. I'm good. Accelerate power needs to be enabled manually from the outside. Why do I keep hearing knocking? Hello? Locked. It, it looks like we're having a power problem right now. Don't like all these creepy sounds. Is this gonna be locked too? It's locked. Everything's locked. No one wants me in anywhere. No one likes me. I guess we are going outside. Oh, all right. You can really run. Man, this guy's like a. Ah. Uh, all right. Flashlight doesn't seem to make much of a difference, but we'll keep it on. Is that like a inventory? You know, it's always good that you um, check the controls before you play a game. Torch, journal, toggle equip, toggle inventory. Oh, okay. I don't know. I just I dive straight in blindly. I what am I doing? Okay, here we go. I've got some strange glove. <laughs> I don't know what it does. This looks real friendly. It's blowing a wee gale. <laughs> it's blowing a wee gale. Oh. I keep oh. I keep pressing space to jump, but it's like the main inventory system. My mind is cloudy. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the upper water Antarctic base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. This guy sounds extremely calm for the current situation. Like, you wake up, you're by yourself, you're in an Antarctic base, you don't remember anything before. And, uh, the power's out. You're like... Everything's groovy. Did that fix anything? Uh, I don't know if that fixed anything. No, did it? No. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows if what I'm doing is even correct? Does sound like someone banging away on something? Oh, am I actually forcing it open? Ah, look at that. What's in here? Ah, looks like we're in a sticky situation now. I found some tape. Okay. Oh. Is that it? Just had to like. 
tape some stuff together. I found a jerry can. I found old Jerry. Okay. Locked. locked. Everything's locked. Yeah, that would probably, um, probably be good. Let me use it. Look how good my memory is. I remember all the controls. F7 and F8 for next and previous slot. That just seems like a really, um... Isn't that like a really re weird keybind for, like, next slot? Wait. <laughs> Why would you press F7 and F8? Huh? Maybe it's empty. Oh, no, no one's tried to. Mm. Oh, look at you. Look at you, playing this game better than I am. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, I was just, I didn't see the, um, the, the little icon. I thought I clicked on it, but I guess I didn't. Ooh, I did something. So, I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh yeah, that's still locked. I like a bit of light bright on my day. Okay, let's go back over here. Those look friendly. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Okay. What was that? What was that? Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Who are you? Go away. Leave me alone. That leads upstairs. Should we go where the creepy man went? Hmm. Locked. Hmm. It's locked. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? Good question. Is that it? Okay. Locked. Ooh. I'll take that one. Found a walkie talkie. Don't know who I'm gonna talk to. Um Is that Lovecraft? <laughs> what was that? 
It's locked. Locked. Okay. Here we go. Uh, which way did I come again? Oh, yeah, I came that way. Private rooms. Um, so either we have a ghost or doors just close automatically after a while. No, I'm on some kind of like Arctic snow base or something. Like in the Antarctic. But they are supposed to be like communicating with the main ship, so like it seems like it's like they came here on a boat at least. Not sure what I'm supposed to think I'm supposed to line this up. Oh, I'll just line it up with the red ones, I guess. I have a wrench earlier. It's stuck. Okay. Guess uh Apparently my character does not have the capabilities of opening a book. It won't open. Uh okay. Ah. There we go. This is creepy. Uh. Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Gilman. Is that so? Is there a problem with that? This guy is- My name is Frank Gilman. An anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. <laughs> this okay. thing is claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? Do 
You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman. That you are just a machine. And you are just air. Okay. Air? What do you mean by that? It doesn't answer me. Where is everybody? They are here. I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. He seems very sure. What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the Grand Mastermind, and the pioneer of this expedition. Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here, exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the Canarinauts. Canarinaut? Canarinaut? <laughs> Voyagers beyond. Beyond? What beyond? No answer. I have found a secret. Well, who would have guessed? He's gone to sleep now. I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. He's forgotten his keys. Keys, keys, keys. One of these supposed to be his then? Oh, behind the sofa. <laughs> yep, yep. When I find the sofa, I'll do that. Lovely photo. What is it with all these little ornaments everywhere? Okay. Anything on the back? Nope. Well, this is disturbing for anyone drawing this. One of the composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It has an open third eye on its forehead as well as in its side, its hand, which I think indicates some kind of state of knowing because allusions to knowledge and elder things recur all the time in almost every case really we've discovered so far. All this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting these those halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the Elder Things, fabled creatures of primal myths. Several other examples of the composite sculptures, ranging from humanoid to reptilian in shape, are mostly damaged and generally in a really bad shape. The lost parts were completed by the artist's imagination. The abundance of five-pointed shapes seen in the design of the structures we come across cannot be overlooked. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning and star staring silently from above most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. That's great. 
grotesque masonry caused an uproar with the continents it wore on its reptilian face when we first found it residing within the when we first found it residing within the almost substantial darkness of the cave where it had been carved in aeons past. Some of the crew even claimed that they had heard some muffled laughing sounds coming from within. The pine cone it was guarding or hiding with its humanoid hands has some symbols carved into it which we are yet to decipher. Well, that pine cone must be pretty important. Everyone loves a good pine cone. People leaving their gloves. I'm inclined to move. I'm inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore. While I am dreaming the vistas of grandeur, an alien prospect in unnatural disposition, so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is that all this became evident after the Canarium sessions had started. Even though I'm not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in an unconscious state into the real oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. Reassuring. Oh, more beautiful photos. Empty drawer. Empty drawer. Well, I didn't mean everyone has the picture of the same kid. Like. It's locked. Into the infirmary. Statement of consent. By signing this document, you are agreeing to the terms written below. False statements made knowingly or willfully, including affidavits or other supporting documents submitted therewith, may be punishable. I hereby declare that I consent to perform my daily duties to the best of my ability, listen to the judgment of the exhibition leader, Dr. Faust, and participate in a series of medical sessions as needed at the Apuat Antarctic base. The risks of participating in the aforementioned medical sessions have been fully explained to me. Any questions I have regarding the procedure, why it is necessary, its benefits, and risks have been answered to my satisfaction. Therefore, I give my informed consent to the performance of the procedure by signing this statement of consent. Done. Oh, more, more crazy documents. On psychoactive plants, Sahethi uh, and Ifersehe. I just like open stuff, but I can't like grab anything. Funny. Stuck. It's stuck. 
Or maybe I could force it open. Oh, it smells awful in here. Oh good. Is someone dead? No. Oh, that's why. There's black goop on the floor. Elevator. Go up or down though. You know what? I know there was a set of stairs back here, so we'll go there. Nobody trusts taking the elevator, do they really? Morse code table. Okay. Take that. Okay, I guess it's just, uh, oh. For a while, my nights have been plagued by bizarre nightmares wherein I've been talking to an unsubstantial figure. When I wake up every morning, I fail to remember either his visage or the content of the dialogue, only his silhouette. Talking in a somber tone, these nightmares keep me from sleeping comfortably, the kind of sleep I am longing for. I have mentioned this to anybody yet, but I am feeling a constant urge to do so, as if my well-being is in the balance. It would be most logical to consult with Dr. DeWitt about this. Yeah, possibly. This is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, please come in. I repeat, this is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, do you hear me? There is someone who can hear me. Please, come in. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Oh no. How convenient for the plot. And we cannot communicate with the outside world. I guess I am taking the elevator. Of course it goes down. Of course it goes down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks.
appreciate it. Whoa, okay. It's a bit random. Everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I'm glad you can uh, watch me enjoy this experience of scaring the living shit out of myself. Yeah. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's literally this. This guy just sounds way too calm. Like his. Oh, great. That's getting old now. <laughs> it's stuck. It like it doesn't react. Oh, it's stuck. There's something wrong. Everyone's gone. What shall I do? Oh well. Okay, Link Elevator. Link Elevator. Now oh, we've gone into the realm of Zelda right now, apparently. Depot. The depot, we got the link elevator and bio lab. Alright. Alright, I think you decide which one do we go to. Choose one. Depot, bio lab, or link elevator. Where shall we start? All right, off to the depot. Uh, it's stuck. Well, that 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 went really well. <laughs> oh, won't open. Oh, that's everything's stuck. Come on, you got some muscles. Yeah, maybe there's something here I can pick up to like. We go. Temple flooded caves base. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, provisional camp equipment is deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problems. Submarines also work great. They are fast and maneuverable beyond my predictions. We've started exploring some parts of the underwater passages, but it's going slowly. Well. A statue beautifully carved from a blue crystal. It depicts a humanoid figure sitting in a meditative posture. The most striking feature of the carving is the o octopian mask it wears on its face. Well, it is Cthulhu, so everything should be octopus based. <laughs> you have obtained a trophy item. I don't think there is anything else. I guess we'll work our way around to the next one. If uh, anything I can pick up, hey, all the music just abruptly stopped. That I don't like that. I do not like that. And it picks up again. Mushrooms? Mushrooms? I need a phonograph cylinder. I need a phonograph cylinder. That looks like some elder writing. Locked. 
This is Frank Gilman. Can anybody hear me? Over. No answer. Oh well, surprise, surprise, and no one would answer. Everything is locked. Wrench where? Oh, in my inventory? A handle. Oh, I wonder if it would go on that machine over here. Well, things are just getting weirder. Um. Okay. A, a black cat. Oh god, this is like something I'm gonna face hug me in a minute. <laughs> that was very aliens. Very aliens. <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh. Oh, great. is going on. Flowers. Oh, yes. These are the pre human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Oh, yeah, the pre human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and you decided to take them? Of course. Oh, yes. These are the pre human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Oh. Oh, yes. okay, he just says the same thing These for every- are the pre-human species we found frozen <laughs> right. in a cave far south of the base. I get the point, buddy. I get the point. Uh... What? 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 Huh? That wasn't there. What's going on? Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for us all to see it again. Situated within the circular building we reached with the link elevator. Oh no. See where that's going. The magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mount mound of debris and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast contemplating that gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since his initial carving. Just thinking about its age sends shivers down my spine. Which civilization could have constructed such grandeur? Now waving a forlorn 
goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters. Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in Southeast Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Cornell Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it is evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. I think, um... Maybe the key is for... No, it wouldn't be for his room. I doubt we have to go back there soon. Wait, where's the cat gone? Was the cat even real? <laughs> oh, this place looks somewhat normal. Not really, not even. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Can't interact with anything, can I? Is there anything I can interact with? Do anything now. Okay. This is weird. What is going on? Yeah, it, it doesn't let me um, interact with anything right now. Oh, okay, I just need to stand like next to it for a few seconds. ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone I think you should retire to your room I am going to think a bit more okay some guy in a chair I can barely see some weird music Oh god. Okay. Did he say I should retire? I think I should retire. so dark oh he's gone now oh, these people keep appearing disappearing no one lives here really It 
It's locked. Locked. It's almost like the game's forcing me to go a specific way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no 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 Oh great here we go Oh lovely Oh Are we back to normal now? Diversa Hay, the legendary drink of the oldest myths. I heard about that like, elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on the Calvia Divinorum, also known as the Age of the Diviners, an entho entheogenic plant used mostly in religious or shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one could gather any information about it other than its legendary mystical psychoactive properties. In some sources, it was the drink of the gods, while in others, a key for opening gates to places that lie beyond the conventional human senses. A soul bridge to be passed on in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would kill even for a hint about one of its lost ingredients. That's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind. I feel like there is a chance for me to produce, if not the original a variant of the legendary mixture de Versailles with the new clues I've uncovered during my work here. Ooh. This looks like something useful. I need a phonograph cylinder. Oh yeah, I need a phonograph cylinder. <laughs> oh, come on, get a grip. <laughs> oh, this just gets better and better. Somewhat humanoid in form, these sculptures initially remind us of the terracotta army sculptures carved as a funerary art, buried with the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings on some of the... That's really so now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems. Oh. Excuse me, golems were used to carry out some tasks for their masters. Just like the Egyptian Shabtio funerary figurines, if I'm not saying that right, which are the servants of the owner in the hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes, and it was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rock stools as if waiting for a command. Well, maybe they are waiting for a command. Like everything else in this game, it's probably all just waiting to murder you. Already read that. Oh, maybe the, oh, Did I checked these earlier. Hey, like a cylinder. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. The cause of death is currently uncertain, but judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area. Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti, 
which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. Yeah, thanks. It's going gonna go really well for me. Oh, why did I decide to do this early in the morning? I missed. I guess it's off to, um, yeah, well, I'm on my own early in the mornings, so it's a good time to do this kind of thing, especially for like the, so like a single player game. Now off to the link elevator. I think is where, uh... Shadowy. Frank, I don't know if you can hear me, but... I am trying to... Searching... This is the only way. Hey! Hey, can you hear me? Who was he? I don't know, Frank. Don't you know? Latest conversation is added to your journal. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yes, let's go up. He does, right? I mean, to be frank, he's uh, very relaxed. <laughs> like his, his the most he seems to panic is like hey oh no that's weird and and then he's back to like oh i wonder what i should do next hmm there's a black cat oh i'm seeing things everything's normal like i don't know <laughs> Maybe this, maybe I, maybe I'm the uh, the villain in this story. I don't realize it. What is that? I'm kind of that's probably to for turning. Uh, I don't know. Oh, why is the vision getting weird? Just so know, yeah. He's been on a few Lovecraftian adventures before. Hey, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use. I'm not sure. Aliens. That's what it is. Oh, good. We're back to normal now. Yeah, I mean, kind of is essentially what Cthulhu is anyway, so. <laughs> uh, guess I cannot interact with, that's interesting, so 
that goes from here. There is one up there. So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. Hmm. Yes, Frank. You're right. You can. Is that it? That's a bit. Nothing else here. Keep searching, the guy said, so I guess I'll keep searching. I'm just wondering if, like, um... Maybe, uh, the interact option only shows up if, uh, you have it equipped. Or selected. Maybe I can jam it into this thing. Maybe it's just one of those areas that you can just revisit. I don't know. Maybe something in the previous room? No, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, maybe the purpose of coming here was just to get the information and and that, and then go back, I guess, or, or something like that. Oh, I can go up again, though. Oh. Go back down. Tower, oh, maybe that was the tower. Okay. This is where things get progressively worse in a story, is when you start heading down. Oh. Well, at least I have that key now, so... Camping axe, please tell me I can, I can, like. Does it count as a weapon? 
No, can't swing it. <laughs> There's some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways, as amazing as it is deadly. There is a hidden world right beneath the upper up base, and even though I was prepared to, fire, to find such a place, it was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with a highly poisonous gas, seemingly coming from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near any of these plants they came across in any of those caverns. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no current air currents. And this movement seems to regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious, at least on some level. Of course, everything is alive. Hey! Anyone here? Hey, don't you've not seen horror movies before, buddy? Doctor James? Doctor Morgan? B Anybody? First mistake. <laughs> Shouting out. <laughs> Where are they, for God's sake? Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, now he's getting a little bit worked up. Took him long enough. Oh, look at that. Is that Cthulhu down there? A statue of him, at least. to interact with. Let me do some exploration first before I start clicking stuff. Yep, Frank has some emotions apparently. Like plants are blocking the way. Hmm. These plants release a poisonous gas when cut. Oh, okay. The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. I get it. I gotta get the beam over here somehow. By doing this. There we go. Look at that. I used my noggin. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> this this looks friendly. This looks super super friendly. <laughs> yeah. An adventure before dementia. That's what it feels like right now. Oh, okay. Welcome back. That's it. I'm gone, guys. GG. Bye bye. <laughs> but that is actually a good time for me to call it because I do have to get ready for work so 
I think I'm gonna save it there and we'll continue this on the next one. I still need to try and wake up. I think I need a coffee. Well, thanks for joining me in this morning adventure on Canarium. Thanks for the help, Vink. <laughs> thanks for the guidance. I'm going to try to do this one every Friday. So, it's not a super long game though. I th think this game's only like four or five hours long. So, that's almost like an hour and a half or an hour and 20 minutes. So, yeah, maybe like one or two more. If my heart can take it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't read too much on it when I was like looking at the game. So I was like, oh, it's just like an exploration puzzle. Uh, but it seems a lot more involved. No combat. I don't think there is combat in this, though. Um, that's fine. Although I wouldn't mind being able to fight some of this stuff on. <laughs> But that is it. I am going to end the stream now. Thanks to anyone else who was lurking or watching. And yeah, generally with these type of games, it's always more terrifying if you can't actually fight back. And this will be going on YouTube as well, so. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see everyone very soon. Have a good day, have a good night, have a good morning. And that's a wrap. <laughs>